times x. An important calculation that is necessary when working with quadratics is factoring. The process of factoring can be used to change a quadratic equation from standard form to the factored form. Method 1, simple factoring. Here is an example. y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. To factor this, you need to find the two numbers that multiplied to get the last digit 3, but also added to get the middle digit 4. Hmm. Use these numbers. Multiplied to get the last digit 3, added to get the middle digit 4. Hmm. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, the digits are 3 and 1. So what I can do now is write the factors, x plus 3, x plus 1, done. Let's now look at method 2, completing the square. Here is an example, y equal x squared plus 6x plus 9. Step number 1, in this method take the middle term 6, divide 6 by 2 and you will get 3. Square the 3 and you will get 9. Since 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 3 squared is 9, this is called a perfect square trinomial. The factors are x plus 3 times x plus 3, which can be written as x plus 3 squared. Method number 3, the difference of squares. Here is an example. y equals x squared minus 9. In this example, the first term is a perfect square, and the last term is also a perfect square. The operation is subtract, which means difference, so this is called the difference of squares. But how do we factor this? To find the factors, write two sets of brackets. In the first set of brackets, put the square root of each number separated by the plus sign, x plus 3. In the second set of brackets, put the square root of the last number and the square root of the first number separated by the minus sign, x, x minus factors, 3, x plus 3, x minus 3. How can you find out if you are correct? To prove you are correct, expand the factors. If your answer is correct, the answer will equal the original term. Method 1, expand x plus 3 and x plus 1. To expand, use the acronym FOIL to help you. Sample number 1, expand x plus 3, x plus 1. First, Multiply the first two terms, x and x. O means outer. Multiply the two outer terms, x and 1. I means inner. Multiply the two inner terms. And L means last. Multiply the last two terms. And we will get x squared plus 1x plus 3x plus 1. And now collect the two middle terms and you will get x squared plus 4x plus 3. And if we look back, we're in fact correct. Sample number 2. Expand x plus 3 and x minus 3. First, x times x. Outer, x times negative 3. Inner, 3 times x. And last, 3 times negative 3. Which gives us x squared minus 3x plus 3x plus 9. 
This one will result in the answer x squared minus 9. Well, again, we are correct. Expand x plus 3 times x plus 3. First, x times x. Outer, x times 3. Inner, 3 times x. And last, 3 times 3 which gives us x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, which gives us the perfect squared trinomial, x squared plus 6x plus 9. What's next? Learn more factoring.